What if I told you about an underground organization comprised of common men and the social elite that have ruled the world from the shadows for hundreds of years, helping to topple empires and change the course of history as we know it? Would you believe me? Well, it's true. These people are called Freemasons, and they're the closest thing we have to a legitimate Illuminati. The icing on the cake? They still exist and operate widely today. Yet even in this modern age, they manage to maintain the secrecy of their lucrative organization. Let's get into it. Obligatory Sponsored Segment. This video is sponsored by me. You can get my book, Tales of Theria, now on Amazon. I promise you'll be hooked the whole way through on this epic fantasy adventure. On with the video. Hi, my name's Lakin, and I'm a journalist. I review movies and generally do random and sometimes interesting things. Most importantly though, I have close family ties to Freemasons and somewhat rare understandings of their origins. You see, Freemasonry is usually defined as the world's oldest fraternity. It came about in the 13th century when local guilds of stonemasons came together to regulate the activities of other stonemasons. Essentially, they unionized. It wouldn't be long until this union spiraled into becoming a strikingly large social power, a division between the common folk and the social elite. Masons around this time began using various imagery and symbolism to identify each other, such as the special handshake you may have heard of in different poses known as veils. The first veil is holding something akin to a cane and resting it on your leg like so. The second veil is resting a hand inside of your coat, and the third isn't really relevant. If you're a history buff, these poses may look familiar to you, and that's because they help identify many monarchs and important figures as masons through their portraits alone. Napoleon, George V, and so on. It's a widely known fact that mostly every English king was a Freemason, so now that we've established their importance in uniting figures throughout history, it begs the question of what it is exactly that they've done, or what makes them important. My grandpa used to tell me that knowing the secret handshake could get you a job, or get your car fixed, or net you financial aid. They claim to not have this power nowadays, simply masking themselves as a charity organization. But we live in a world where people look at horrible things done in the past by our governments and such and choose to go, well there's no way they'd do that now, right? I don't buy it. And let me tell you, the history of this organization is vast and dangerous. 13 of the 39 signatures on the US Constitution were Masons, and from there they weeded their way into having representatives in every nook and cranny of society for the purpose of aiding their members. Anyone who tried to expose them disappeared mysteriously, including one William Morgan, a prospective writer of a book filled with Mason secrets. Morgan was never seen again, and the men who were responsible were granted lenient sentences ranging from two months to two years, a display of Masonic power that only served to grow the anti-Mason sentiment at the time. Another much less known event is a subtext in the Archduke's assassination. Many are familiar with the tale of Gavrilo Princip and co on a journey to Sarajevo, but are you familiar with how they got there? You see where this is going? Yes. Young Gavro was provided weapons and safe passage there by none other than an active Freemason, Milan Saganovich. And yes, that does make the Masons technically responsible for the First World War. Still, the only requirements to join are that you're a guy and believe in a higher being. Yet many hail this organization as a sort of satanic cult responsible for many of the bad things in history, though I've only listed a few things we have solid sources for. And so, I suppose this is the part where I ask your opinion. Do you believe in any of this? Have you heard about any of this before? And would you like to hear more about it? Comment down below if you'd like a deep dive video. For now, I'll try my best to keep it brief. If you enjoyed the video, I upload every Saturday and stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm EST. Next week's video is going to be on the nature of chi, and it will be available now on my Patreon. That's right. For the measly price of a single dollar, you can support me and see all my content a week early. If you got this far, you must have enjoyed it. So, you know, I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, if you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, comment down below to give me ideas, Watch this recommended video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!